was still a shock because Jim McMahon, this icon, this local legend, was to be no more a Chicago Bear. Chicago Bears traded quarterback Jim McMahon to the San Diego Chargers. Yeah, he told me they were going in a different direction they wanted somebody else, so yeah, I can live with that. And I feel I got a lot of good years left and uh, it would be nice to go somewhere where you're appreciated. McMahon just looks super to me. He's back in good shape. Watch how early he throws this ball and Miller turns to make the grab and pulls away for the touchdown. Drop, pump fake, left is going to run. Now rolls to the right, looking for a receiver, throws to the back of the end zone, touchdown! So McMahon is going deep. Wide open is Anthony Miller. And Miller down to the 20 yard line. One thing that Jim McMahon has never been is scared to get hit on the football field. If anything, he's probably taking too far the other way in terms of running out of the pocket like he just did trying to beat somebody head on. He's a kind of guy that can carry the whole team on his back. You walk out of the field and you can have kind of a mediocre team to go into the split. San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium will be near capacity as the Chargers play host to the red-hot Philadelphia Eagles. But man, Tommy Catter. Inside the five, touchdown Anthony Miller. A perfect strike. Play action for McMahon, he's going deep. Miller. Touchdown Chargers. 69 yards. McMahon on first down is going deep. Jamie Holland, a gain of 49. Clark continues to move from 49 yards. San Diego wins it, 20 to 17. Holland goes in motion. Man is rolling on first down over the middle. Miller's got it. Touchdown, San Diego. Anthony Miller on 20 yard touchdown. You talk about right on target. First and 10, the 19th of the theater. McMahon buys the boards on. Into the corner for Miller. Does he have it? Yes, touchdown San Diego. Jim McMahon and the Eagles perfect together? Maybe not, but McMahon and the Birds have signed a one-year deal that will make the former Chicago Bear the Eagles' number two quarterback for over $500,000. I did not like being a backup. I felt like I could be the starter. And you have to prepare that way. You have to believe that you're going to play. I was always ready. I knew the game plan. If, if anything would have happened around Cunningham throws to the end zone. Incomplete, and Cunningham is down. My immediate thought was just to go over and warm up. You know, I've seen him go down before and take his time getting up, and he, and he always did get up. So, you know, I just rushed over and got a ball and started throwing. But, you know, after a while, I looked out there, and he still wasn't getting up. So I, I didn't know how serious it was at the time, but uh, I knew I would be in the game. You know, I didn't know for how long, though. Yeah, Cooley is on third set. He's pretty cool. Packers get pressure. McMahon to Byers. It is. Caught for a touchdown. Goes for Byers, and he's got another one. Byers all the way to the 34-yard line. Pickup of 24. And going deep. And there's got it. Red Barn Apple score. 75-yard touchdown pass. His teammates really rallied around him. I mean, he's different, but he's smart. He's one of the smartest football guys I've ever talked football with. He had it together a lot more than people realize. McMahon in trouble. Directing traffic, and McMahon is going to get a first down. McMahon is going for Barnett. He's got a touchdown, Eagles. Second and ten, McMahon has time. He's going deep for Barnett.
sense of confidence that Jim McMahon can take in some place. I really believe he can. The special ability that you seem to have is an ability to inspire guys to play as well as they can, to be a leader, to be a winner. Why does that happen? Why do they play so good? Well, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I, I play as hard as I can on every play, and I think that sometimes rubs off on people. McMahon back pedals. He's under a rush. He steps aside. He's floating it. He has Jackson. You may or may not like his flamboyant attitude and his appearance, but you have to admire his courage. The light at the end of the tunnel was Jim McMahon. What a performance. He was one tough SOB. It was almost like he should be playing defense. He wanted to have that defensive mentality. It's fighting battles that everybody knew in the ring. Jim, Jim fought it anyway. Cleveland, McMahon had to be carried up the steps and set on the field. And I thought, how much mobility can a guy have? And walk up three steps. He threw for 317 yards and three touchdown passes. And they won. We're down ourselves for not making the plays early. But, uh, you know, you got three quarters to play. You can't, you know, if you want to lie down, you want to lie down. Touchdown, Kelvin Williams and the Eagles lead for the first time of the game. Jim McMahon delivers again. Look where McMahon puts this ball. I mean, McMahon took a big hit, but the ball is perfectly thrown. Football. The guy's throwing the ball where he needs to. He's calling the plays properly. But McMahon lifts his teammates out there during the game because he's so tough, dirt tough. I mean, this guy fights. He refused to quit, and he's just going to help this Philadelphia team make it to the playoffs. No looking around. Now he's firing for the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. McMahon, the heart and soul of his evil team. quarterback news. The Vikings have signed Jim McMahon. We'll put him into the bull ring next summer with Brad Johnson and maybe Rich Gannon, who is still a free agent. I take my job seriously. A lot of people don't believe that's true just because, you know, I might just screw around in practice or, you know, joke around in a meeting or something, but uh, I've never gotten into a game unprepared. It's taken a while for Viking fans to get used to actually cheering for this guy. They love to hate him, of course, when he's with the Bears, but that's the beauty of free agency is it finally exists in the NFL. Motion chart from a tight end spot. Four wide outs. McMahon rolls to his left. Looking, looking, looking. Packed on and goes. Wide right open. Touchdown! Chris Hunter! Subsequently, when other teams were behind him, they were doing that. I do not catch that glimmer of the pass. Fourth down and eight. Less than a minute remaining. McMahon fires in deep, caught by Chris Hunter. First down of the 38. Third and 10. This should be his last shot. McMahon flush right. Goes deep, man is wide open. Eric Gilford has the catch and is out of bounds with six seconds to go. The one to the and kicks it home. Jim McMahon rallies the Minnesota Vikings to a come-from-behind victory. Jim McMahon 
Durant was picked up as a free agent by Dennis Green for the particular reason that he is a winner. He wins ball games, but he is an enigma. His stats don't show his value, but somehow, somehow, when he plays, the Vikings are better. And Boston, it's open. Touchdown. And unloads. I'm, I'm very excited about the way the offense is, or the direction is headed. Uh, you know, I think we're starting to utilize more of our talent. We've got a lot of guys on this offense who can make big plays. Well looks for a quick pattern, pumps it, now pumps again, now looks, now comes up in the middle, touchdown, wow, for Minnesota. Goes straight back, now looks, lofts the ball to the side, wide, wide open, touchdown Minnesota for Chris Carter. McMahon may have checked that baby off at the line. Way to see it, Jimmy! Here's McMahon, straight back in the pocket, on the blitz, over the middle, touchdown Minnesota. Wow, caught by Chris Carter. That boy credit McMahon, Jim, he threaded the needle between three defenders. I don't know how he did it, you of the regular season gets underway at ice cold RFK. Minnesota in quest of the final playoff berth in the NFC meets the Washington Redskins. Second attempt for the 25. McMahon throws it deep. Wants Chris Carter. Caught! Out of bounds at the one yard line. Chris Carter. McMahon falls out signals. Drops the throw. Cox is on. Fires the ball. It is caught. All right. All right. Anthony Carter. Lights up to the playoff we go. Woo-hoo-hoo. by McMahon. Yeah, that's what we talk about McMahon. You know that he can't make that throw. He gets in his own end zone, throws it out there between the corner and the safety coming over. They make the reverse. Oh, man. Oh, for Chris Carter. Touchdown, Vikings. From 40 yards out, the Vikings take the lead. And I learned the throw from Jim. Truth is, I started playing trying to be exactly like Jim McMahon. 15th year for Jimmy Mack. I don't think a Super Bowl ring was that important to him. He'd already had one. I don't think that money was a big factor. I think he just enjoyed the game. A lot of people want to look at Jim as a strange dude, but I just looked at him as a football player who was a tremendous leader. He's a great competitor. I mean, you know, you can't take that away. I mean, the guy. You know, has been. I mean, he's been in Super Bowls. He's he's won Super Bowls. He he knows how to lead a team. The the players like him, and and he has all those things that maybe the intangibles overcome some of the other things that he lacks. I play with a number of good quarterbacks, decent quarterbacks. The only really outstanding quarterback, championship quarterback I was ever associated with was was Jim McMahon.